Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Rachel Carroll. I'm the face of the Carroll Home Team here on YouTube. And every week I bring you content about the beautiful city of Vero Beach, Florida and the surrounding areas that we serve. Today, we've got a fantastic topic to explore. Are there any airports near Vero Beach, Florida? On our team, we actually hear this question a lot from folks who are looking at moving to the area. And I actually just had a viewer ask me this very question in the comments a few weeks ago. And I know you might be wondering, what really has this to do with real estate? Well, my friends, it's all about location, location, location. Vero Beach is a beautiful gem uh, of a city on Florida's East Coast. And you might be thinking of moving here or perhaps investing in a property. Well, one crucial factor to consider is accessibility. So let's dive in and find out the nearest airport to Vero Beach, Florida. So first up, we've got the Vero Beach Regional Airport, and you guessed it, it's right here in Vero Beach. It's a charming little airport, perfect for those who prefer private or charter flights. We do have some commercial flights that go to and from this airport, and they are typically seasonal. We, we actually just took a flight on Breeze Airways up to New York um, this past summer. And really the only downside is that these flights are very seasonal, as I mentioned, and there's a restrictive list of destinations, but the convenience of flying right out of Vero Beach really cannot be matched. Next on our list is the Melbourne Inter International Airport, just a bit north of Vero Beach, about 45 minutes. It's quite a bit bigger than Vero Beach Regional and it's perfect for domestic flights. So if you're planning a trip or expecting guests from around the country, this could be a really great choice. It's less traffic than the larger Florida airports, so your wait time is a lot shorter, but destinations are selective and in my experience, most flights to and from the Melbourne airport have layovers. So if you're not a fan, this may not be your number one choice. Now, let's talk about Orlando International Airport. While it's a bit of a drive from Vero Beach, about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes, it's well worth the trip. Orlando is not just about the famous theme parks, it's also a major international hub. And that means you can get almost anywhere in the world from here. So if you're planning to fly in and out of Orlando, be prepared to stand in line. The wait times can be significant as this is a highly trafficked airport and it's very busy, especially during holiday travel times. Last but not least, Palm Beach International Airport is our fourth closest airport accessible from Vero Beach. It's about an hour and a half south of Vero and a great option if you're looking for more flight choices. The prices do tend to be higher for flights out of Palm Beach versus out of Orlando, but the airport is typically not as congested and that makes for a nicer travel experience. I found that flights out of West Palm also can come with a layover, so if you're planning to travel through there, just double check the available flights. And if you can tell, I'm not a huge fan of layovers, so this is something that I look for. Now with a variety of airlines and destinations, you can't go wrong flying in and out of here. Whether you're a Vero Beach local, a future resident, or a potential investor, knowing your travel options is essential. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you all. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that little notification bell so you never miss any of my real estate tips and tricks here in the area. Again, thanks for watching. Give us a call if you need any real estate advice in the area or if you have any questions about the area. I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, take care and happy travels.